I start with a small like eight and a half by eleven, and I just sketch what I want to um, do. And once I get it to where I'm, I'm fairly happy with it. Then I enlarge it to the size I actually want it to be. Then I actually trace it onto fabric. And so this is that piece on fabric. So this is going to take me maybe three weeks to, uh, to stitch. And so where there's the pencil mark that'll wash right out, uh, these will end up being black or dark gray lines. This is a way to kind of slow down my life, I guess, because it's probably one of the most time-consuming ways to make a line. <laughs> I uh, kind of get in a rhythm with it and uh, however much I can fit on the, the needle. And then I just pull it through, and, but it does kind of slow down the world. And, and it really is a record of how I spent my time. Some people might think it's an odd thing to, uh, to have spent so much time just doing this, but um, even though it's this wonderfully time-consuming process, it's the surprises that make it really fun and keeps bringing me back to this. Okay, so this piece, I'm ready to tie the knots on. Before tying the knots, what I do is uh, wet it. When you're tying the knots, you want to get them pretty tight. And wet fabric will get We'll get, you can tie it much tighter than dry fabric. Once I've pulled them up a little ways, there's less likelihood of me pulling out a thread that I didn't mean to. Okay, you see it's beginning to get kind of rather tight in some of these areas. You see, this is an area that will accept dye, this wider spot sticking up, but the rest of these will end up being just lines. So I've got the gloves on. I have a couple buckets over there with water in them. And this has been in plastic. I dyed it yesterday morning. Okay, so hopefully it all took. And uh, we'll see, soon see what I got. So, I'm going to try to figure out where those knots are. You can see it gets kind of messy. So, you can get, begin to see I'm getting lines. Oh, yeah, sure.